Hey there, Cougar Nation. Welcome back to another episode of Cougs Talk, where Cougs give you the hottest sports takes. I'm here with AJ and Carmen today, here to discuss. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yep, ready. All right, well, let's get right into it with um, a recap of the past week in the NFL. Well, there was a lot of good games that happened this past week. Um, in particular, the Sunday night game and the Sunday evening game. The, um, in the Sunday evening game, the Chiefs played against the Bills. That was a really good game. That, was. that could be the AFC Championship, really. Mm-hmm. And then the Philadelphia Eagles against the Cowboys. Obviously, the Eagles are now the only undefeated team, but that Cowboys defense is real. They'll be getting back, you know, Dak Prescott. So. Yeah, but that Cowboys team is trash, so trash? it don't matter. How is it trash? I mean, their defense is real. <laughs> their defense is real, but, I mean, Dak just ain't doing it. Cooper Rush is right now, but. Cooper Rush threw three interceptions. Like, he showed that that's Dak's team. Like, he's been managing the game well, but Dak is – He's going to step in, and as long as he doesn't do too much, they'll be straight. Like, that defense is a championship-level defense, and if they get that, they could go, like, on another winning streak. They could end up being, like, 13 or 14. Yeah, but the only thing Zeke is eating is honey buns on the sidelines, so it don't even matter. Nah, he looked good this past Sunday, though. He was rushing the ball good, him and Tony Pollard. He looked all right. He looked all right. All he looked right. all right. He all looked right. all right. Zeke has been regressing, but these past few games of the season, he's looked solid. I mean, all this game proved is that that's the Eagles' division. They run that throughout the whole They only won by nine points. It don't Cowboys matter. They really run the division. How they, no, they, they run the division. The Giants Jalen Hurts is an MVP candidate this year. Okay. He's destroying T. AJ Brown, you got Devontae Smith. That defense is cold. Man, this, crazy. Darius Slay, he's People, locked down. Bro, the Eagles, oh my gosh. The Eagles, I mean, they're, they're good. They made the playoffs last year. They snuck in. I mean, they have a real defense, but like, even in their division, like I just said, the Giants, they're even good too. They're 5 and 1. I Giants mean, Giants are good, but. Yeah. The Cowboys what are, are they, 5 and 1? Yeah, the Cowboys are good too. They have a weak schedule right now too. They can go on a winning streak. The Cowboys can go on a winning streak. I mean, that division is up for grabs. The NFC is up for grabs. The AFC. That's that's the stat conference for real. But the, AFC, NFC, yeah. the NFC is up for grabs. So you've got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're three and three. They're struggling. The Packers are struggling mm-hmm. too. So I mean, it's it's all a mix up right now. But like yes. I said, the Philadelphia, trash, the Cowboys are trash. Cowboys are trash. They just how you just. Bro, I'm a Texans fan. I'm biased, but so you It don't matter. It, they're real, still trash. Anyways, the Texans are trash. Zeke is trash. No. Cooper Rush ain't getting it done. Dak's not gonna be getting bro. it done. That thumb's still gonna be hurting. It don't matter, y'all. If y'all do make the playoffs, y'all are making the wild card, and y'all are like losing game one. Don't matter. Uh, bro, you just sound biased. Like, just it don't matter. Real points. I mean, it don't matter, man. Bro, you look at the defense. You have Michael Parsons, who's an MVP candidate in his second season, and okay. defensive player of the year candidate. Their defensive line, the Marcus Lawrence, he's real. Dorrance Armstrong is real. They have a lot of guys. Of course, Trayvon Diggs. But well, let me get some straight. What? If that offense ain't putting up points, how are they gonna win? They haven't been putting up points because they've been managing the game with Cooper Rush. But once that comes, don't back, matter. Right. They they couldn't do nothing against the Bucks. That's the first game of the season. Dude, the they Bucks? scored three points. They that's scored the first three game points. Of the season. First, it don't Everyone, matter, bro. That's the first game of the season. You're coming back from a whole new year. No mm-hmm. one played. None of the starters played in preseason, so they're the really offensive line up. is. Garb. It's not garbage. They've actually been, play, been playing better, and they've been better, injuries. better than horrible. But Bro, it's you're okay. Not providing real points. It's at okay. All. At all, you're just saying stuff biasedly. I mean, I get it though. Being a Texas right. fan, it's depressing. So man. that makes sense. He's not lying, but he, uh, he can hate. But I mean, the Cowboys—they are gonna be solid. Like they can go 12 and five like last year, 13 and four, and that defense is strong for real. Like if, if 13 they, and four is crazy. Yeah, 13 and they four went 12 is crazy. and five last year. How is that outlandish? No, nah. that's not crazy. And that, they're, it's crazy. They're playing it's against crazy the this year. They're playing against the Lions next. Week. The Bears, they don't have a lot of, they don't have a hard schedule remaining, so I mean. Like I said, wild card, and then they're out. Easy as that. Eagles so, run the division. They're winning bro, first the place. Eagles are good, but y'all, everybody acting like they're just like the 86 Bears. Like, that team is just crazy, bro. They are, they're good, but oh my God. Jalen Hurts has stepped up his game. He has okay. an arm now. He's not just a runner. He can, he can okay. run, he can pass, he can do whatever he wants. Okay. I mean, that's that cool. defense is crazy, too. So, six games out the season. So, he plays like the six games. And what if he just goes back to the um, way he played last year after 11 games? He's still elite? No. Okay. He's still top 10. He's still top 10. If the Eagles lost to Jalen Hurts for the first four, um, four games, well, they went um, four and two at the Cowboys. No, 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 exactly. It's not the same. The Cowboys are really, a really good team. Once they get Dak back, as long as they don't do too much and rely on him and throw the ball a million times. What are they going to rely on then, Zeke? They can't no, rely on they've Zeke. They've been playing good run- running football. Tony Pollard is good too. So you're not Tony Pollard playing. is good. Yeah, he's really good. He's actually. good, but he's not like top 10, top 15. No, he's top 15 for he's sure. Like, top 16 is crazy. Bro, he- he can break out easily at any given moment. What are you talking about? You're I mean, just saying stuff, bro. Okay. You were just biased Cowboys stuff. fans over here. You know, you know how they act. I'm being. I'm. T- I'm talking about the Eagles and the Giants being good too. I'm not being biased. Yeah. You're talking about. And the guess Giants. who's going to win that division? The Eagles or the Giants? No, not the Cowboys. The Cowboys, Cowboys are. Beat the Giants. <laughs> 
They've already beat the Giants. One game, though. Okay, but not twice. Dak, and now they're going to have Dak back. They're even better. So, yes, what Dak, are you talking Dak, about? Dak's not God. Bro, Dak's not when God. the Cowboys play against the Giants, the defense is going to kill Daniel Jones. Even when they played against yeah. the Eagles, they were in the backfield instantly. I was watching the game. Once they snapped the ball, they were in the Eagles' backfield. Y'all don't have an instantly. answer for Saquon, though. Saquon? Y'all don't have an we, answer we, for Saquon. Like, nobody. The defense. Bro, he's still popped off. I just told you, they're in the backfield every single time, bro. I'm the quarterback. I'm not bro, a Saquon. No, not a Saquon, bro. Thank you guys, you both made some amazing points. Thank you for watching this episode of Kooks Talk. I'm Kristen Campbell, and as always, go Kooks.